Igor Severino's just being cut from the UFC for biting Andre Lima. Reinstate Igor right now because it's an absolute joke. Christiani is an absolute shambles of a referee. Get him gone. Fire him from the UFC because there were multiple fouls committed by Andre Lima leading up to the bite that were just absolutely ignored. It's injustice. Reinstate Igor. Fire Lima. Fire fucking Christiani. And let's get on with this. So I'm going to break it all down. I'm going to show you the multiple fouls that were committed, including back of the head shot, which can be life threatening and career ending for any kind of fighter. And they were intentional uh, back of the head shots, not accidental, intentional back of the head shots. And I'm going to break down all the fouls that were committed by Lima. There's a petition going now to reinstate Igor. Please sign it and let's get him back in. He's 20 years old. He doesn't deserve to have his UFC career ruined over someone cheating and a referee being an absolute piece of shit. Stop the, fence. the first fence grab here happened at 327, 328 in the fight, which was used to keep Igor in position. That was Lima grabbing the fence. The referee yells out, stop grabbing the fence. That's the first time. He let's go and immediately after letting go, Igor reverses the position. So that is number one. Locking up here. Looking for an almost keep going forward. That's going to allow him to finish that submission. But he can't be grabbing the fence like that. He's just touching the fence. So what you'll notice in this sequence, there's multiple offenses. The first offense is when he's rolling into the Oma plot. He uses the, the fence to sort of push off and get the Oma plot locked in. Then he uses the fence again. He reaches up. He lands a back of the head blow and then he reaches back up and grabs the fence to keep the Oma Plata locked in, keeping keeping Igor in position the whole time, not able to escape the Oma Plata and roll out of it because the, the body weight, the center of gravity is being kept back and he, he can't roll out of it. He can't defend the, the back of the head punch. The referee screams in Lima's face, does not does not end the position, does not take action, does not take a point, does not reset the guys. It just allows one, two, three, four fouls in the matter of seconds and he just lets it go. And the back of the head shot is the one that's the most concerning for me because that can be a life-threatening injury. The back of the head, it can cause brain damage, it can cause career-ending injuries. That is the one that's the most worrying and that was not addressed or dealt with in the moment and it's absolutely fucking disgusting. Uh, out if it was accidental but it was full-on intentional the referee saw it he was in the in the action he saw it blatantly and did nothing about it and then later on between the rounds he does address the back of the head shots with lima just telling him don't hit the back of the head not grab the cage okay uh -huh. and do not hit behind the head not grab the cage okay uh -huh. and do not hit behind the head tender series Stop. Dana White. Time. I think there was an extended was finger. Oh. It was a Keep finger up, extended from Severino. Okay. Close. Strangely, after all the fouls that Lima committed, the non-foul that Eagle committed at the beginning of round two seems to cause a timeout. Now, what happened there is he extended his fingers, but he didn't actually eye poke Lima. He was just extended fingers. All the fouls that Lima committed in the first round didn't get a timeout, but this did. This is just a bit strange to me. Anyway, we could we'll continue on. Severino doing a good job of covering the head. We had Severino in top position and Lima was trying to scramble back to his feet, try and get to the fence. He used a blatant fence grab to pull himself up to the fence. Again, this is another foul. The referee sees it and slaps the hand away. Again, does not call a timeout, does not give any warnings or, or take a point. Again, blatant cheating from Lima in this moment. Grabbing on. He's grabbing the fence again. The referee calls a timeout here and there's a bit of a confusion as why he's calling the timeout because Lima's protesting, but he shouldn't be calling a timeout on uh, a fighter's behalf, as we saw with the Dumbay fight in Mark Goddard. A fighter can't call a timeout in a fight. So I'm assuming that the reason why he was calling the timeout is he saw the fence grab. Now, after he called the timeout, he then saw the bite mark, which he didn't see the bite happening. And he goes to his other official and they have a discussion about this. And in that discussion, he says he didn't see, can we see a replay? And in the replay, he states very clearly that they don't see the bite, that the, the head is in position of where the bite could be and could happen, but they do not see the, the they do not see the bite happen. And in result of that, they call a DQ. 
which is absolutely insanity that they didn't see the bite happen in the call of DQ. And they even saw it on the replay and couldn't define the point and when he was bit. He's but protesting. I want to confirm it on replay if we can. We can, we, can see, we can see his face going there. We can't see his lips closing around it. So he's definitely in position to bite it. So if he's got the so marks there, then there's a bite. So I'll tell you how we do this. In that clip, they admit to not seeing the bite. Even on the replay, they do not see the bite. They can't 100% guarantee that was what caused the bite. It could have happened between rounds. It could have been one of the coaches' footnotes. They did not see the bite, and there's no proof that the bite happened in that moment. However, it is very likely that Igor did bite him, and he did bite him at that moment, except they cannot call a fight based on the evidence that they saw. And then after the fight, to even add to this absolute fury and shit show that's gone on tonight, Dana White gives Lima a, a bite bonus of 25 Gs, and then Lima gets a tattoo done saying, um, I got a bite bonus, baby. And then Dana White doubles the bite bonus to 50 Gs for all the cheating. I can't believe it. I'm fucking disgusted with how much cheating went on in that fight. He got away with it, Lima. He gets a 50 G bonus. Eagle gets cut from the UFC. I've started a petition to reinstate Eagle Severino. It's in the description. Click on the link, sign it. Please like, subscribe and comment and I'll see you in the next one.